Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to the Art Journaling page. Today we're going to be playing around with this beautiful new keyhole chipboard from ScrapFX. So this page was kind of inspired by the beautiful collage images I got from James Luke Burke's Creatives Virtual Voyage. Um, he did it instead of Patreon this year. And um, one of the first stops on the voyage was Alice in Wonderland. And he did a, a creation of all these different Alice's that he's drawn with his beautiful illustrations. And having the little Alice look through to this wonderland of all the different Alice's and all the different styles of Alice's just really, really appealed to me um, and made me think of using this image straight away. I also really love doing interactive pages in my art journals. And um, I love when art journals peek through to the next page. It just gives you a little glimpse of what more you can do. So I put a cutting board in between my page. I pressed down, I put the chipboard on the back page and pressed down around it and used my pencil sort of to draw around where it was. And then I cut it out, making sure I cut within the lines, not on the outside of the lines, because obviously I wanted to be able to glue my chipboard piece down. There is a border to it that you've got enough to um, glue down. I'm also gluing both sides, uh, not gluing, sorry, gessoing with black gesso, both sides of my art journal page and both sides of the chipboard piece. Because I want the, while well, I love the intricacy of that chipboard piece, I want it to sort of blend in and be a silhouette against all the interesting things that are happening in the background to make you want to look through the keyhole to see what's going to happen. So it's a bit of a trick of the eye, um, having everything sort of in the same colour. Uh, the gesso I'm using is the Dina Wakeley Black Gesso. I really like that because it's really ultra matte. It also dries really, really quickly, which is a bonus. The two printables I've got there, I have actually printed out onto sticker paper. Um, I tend to find when I've got printables, I print them out onto sticker paper. The reason for that is I just find that I don't have to worry about um, adhering small pieces down. I can just peel off the background and, and glue it down. So this is a technique I learnt from Tracy Scott, who is a designer and um, teacher for a paper artsy. And it's actually stamping on black with black. Um, I'm using archival ink and I've just switched to Versafine and you can see when you stamp down on it that you actually can see this stamped image and the reason for that is that Versafine and archival ink actually are oil based um, inks, uh, permanent inks. So it sits on the surface, it dries permanently, it's not going to smudge but you get that shine which gives you some texture into the background, it makes it look like something's happening in the background. So obviously because it's Alice in Wonderland I decided to use the heights as a mo motif in the background. Now I'm just going in and gluing down my chipboard piece making sure it fits on both sides um, so I can see through and giving it a little bit of a heat so it will stay there. This page is also from James Luke Burke Creative. Um, one of the things in the course was um, looking at flowers and drawing flowers and so on. And I just like the fact that it sort of echoed the flowers in the keyhole. So I've got the Alice obviously on one side and then the, the flowers on the other. Um, and it means it works both ways. Because the images are a little bit smaller than the actual um, piece I've got, I'm just going in with my black gesso again and just sort of blending it in using a really feathery edge to it to make it look like it's going down a rabbit hole type thing. So it's a framing technique I suppose for both pages. Once I finish doing it on that page, I will go in and do it on the back page as well. I decided though I want to add a little bit more um, foliage into the uh, onto the page, so I'm using this new stamp from Scrap FX, which is this lovely little foliage leaf, and um, stamping it around. Now I decided I was just going to do the bottom, and then I decided to go the whole way around because why not? Which kind of takes away from the black, but it does still have that framing device because I'm overlapping the stamped image onto the um, floral image that I've got there as well. I used, just used white paint, I just sprayed that out onto my surface and then stamped straight into it. I find that's the easiest way with my foam stamps. You can sit there and spray the, the ink on, but I find if I've got my paint thin enough onto my glass mat, 
I can just stamp into it and kind of use it as an ink pad. Because I've got rid of all my black, or most of my black, I've decided just to go around with a really, really scribbly pen line and draw around the um, fronds of this leaf. I personally really like these really scribbly lines. It just helps to frame the image. You can sort of see definitely going down onto the um, image of the flowers. It sort of um, frames that a little bit. It's totally per personal preference, however. So on this back page as well, you can see it had that big white border on it. This is actually the very last page of my Dilutions journal, so it's actually um, a cardboard background. That's why I used the, the whole sheet of sticker paper, because it covered over everything. Um, but I liked that frame from before, so I decided to do the same thing on the back page too. To finish off my page, I decided I wanted to put a quote on my page. Now usually I just write on straight with um, my Posca paint pens but I did actually decide to use my white Stabilo oil pencil just to get a little bit of a idea um, of where I'm going to write. Now I started writing out with a really thin pen. I wish I'd kept it with a thin pen because um, it actually looks quite delicate but then I went back and used a thicker white pen over the top and I just while it's much more pronounced um, it kind of lost that delicacy of the original quote. So um, learn from my mistakes or you might like it better with the thicker writing, I don't know. Um, benefit of hindsight, but I do love the quote, which is, I knew who I was this morning, but I've changed a few times since then. And I thought that was perfect, again, for that peep through into the background because I've got all those Alice's peeping through who are all completely different and drawn completely different styles. So it sort of really um, echoes that sentiment. I'm kind of cheating a little bit with my black pen here and going back and just fixing up any mistakes or um, if I would sort of made the lines too thick I've gone back and put the black pen in to sort of thin those lines out again. So there's always way, a way to fix something. This time I didn't use my Stabilo oil pencil and just wrote straight away. The good thing about using Posca paint pens onto an acrylic background is Acrylic paint, you can remove it if it's not dry. So you can see with the wet wipe there, I was able to just wipe it off and refix my mistake. So this is a close up of the finished piece. You can see that beautiful fine line from the chipboard, how it peeps through. You can see the texture from that stamping in the background. You can see those beautiful Alice's as well and how it all plays together. So I'd really encourage you to have a look at your chipboard pieces, particularly larger pieces like this, and see how you could use them in your art journals um, or make them into interactive pages in your artwork. Thank you so much for watching. Find all the details below to where to purchase or read the blog post. And until next time, bye for now.